this. I don't want it on this side. I want it on this side. So I come here, boom, jam, and I chop. And I want this as straight as I can get it. I don't want this here. I want this here. The straighter, the better. If you want to go cheap tilt, this hand slides inside. A lot of people like to stay here with it. But if I'm going to do this, I might as well put this on this hip and get a reinforced bar. So I don't do this because this is enough. I do this where I put it on this hip and go reinforced bar. I'm going to show you all. Right now, I'm going to do a two on one. We're going to do cheap tilt. Cheap tilt. This hand comes inside. This, feel this. Feel yours. Feel it. It's bony. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right across his thigh. I'm not going to put it this way because that's not going to hurt him. I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to put my knee into his belly button. I'm going to make sure I grab his elbow with my inside knee. So I'm here. Boom, oh, then I'm here. Come sit like that. See his face? He's happy there, right? That's because this toe is on the mat. Now I get this toe off the mat. You see that's happy? I drive him over the shoulder because he's one, two, three, four, five, six. He's got six legs. It's a six-legged table instead of a four-legged table. I'm going to drive him over the leg that I already took away. I took this leg away. But coach, it's an arm. He's a table. It's a leg. I drive my shoulder. When I drive my shoulder, I make sure I get my laces to his laces on the inside angle. Oh, laces to laces. Drive them. Now, I don't want them on my chest. I want them in my bottom pocket. My knee is up. My knee is up. My heel is close to my butt. My toe is up. This is pulling towards me. This is pushing away. Notice when I do that, what happens to him? He arches. This elevates. And I tuck my head. Why do I tuck my head? Because this elbow is going to end up in my face. I don't want it in my face. I tuck my head. Stay right here. One, two, three, four, five. When I get my five count, I let him roll the way he wants to go. He doesn't want to go this way. Because I'm not letting him roll into me. Never. It's never going to happen. Because I'm blocking with this. I like to glue my elbow to my knee on the side that I elevate. He rolls over. The first thing I do is go like this. Or like this. Why do I do that? So it's just like showing my hands. Now some rods like you to show both. If you want to show both, do this. And just go right back into it on this side. One, two, three, four, five, he comes up. See how he doesn't get to come up till I want him to come up? Now he comes up. I have a kid that does, Jacob Grogan, does this. He comes in here and he chops, and he gets in here, and he tilts, and he gets his one, two, three, four, five, and he does this. When he rolls over, he goes. Because he's so sick of the ref going, and us doing another move, and the ref's still going. And we're like, we switched that off, it's a new move. No, it yeah, it was. He totally let go. Went to from this hand to this hand. That's a new move. The ref's like, nope, still a tilt. That's like putting an arm bar in this side and the guy getting off the back and then putting him on this side. And I'm saying it's the same move. It's unbelievable. So, that's why Coach calls it jazz hands. Yay! Ask the kids in the band. They'll tell you. Yay! Deaf kids! <laughs> You know what this is, the deaf kids? Jazz hands. They can't hear you. That's why you do this. This means this. So if that helps you remember, think the ref is deaf and he can't understand, so show him the hand. Hey, good job, ref, give him my points. Make sense? So that's the cheap and easy one. We call it a cheap tilt. We're going to come here, we're going to jam, we're going to chop. You're still sitting like that, being a weird kid. Coming in here, you're blocking. Do not pull them on your chest. Keep them in your belly, in your bottom pocket, like you're a catcher. Ooh. Baseball. Catcher. This is how you need to be. Come back. You like those wrists? Where are my coach's shoes? 
Dave Schultz shoes. I'm in the Sly Fox's shoes. Do you know that? Do you know he's my coach? Boom. Drive over the shoulder. Here's what a lot of you are going to do. You're going to drive over the shoulder by using your body. Except that's going to put him on your chest. Don't do that. Use this inside bar here. Use this pressure. That way he's not on your chest. He's down in your valley in your pocket and you're in no danger here getting any stupid points or giving up anything or being a weird kid. Why are you sitting like that? I don't know either. So that's the cheap tilt. Here's a cheap tilt, hazard tilt hybrid. When you do a real hazard, you're supposed to shoot that arm all the way across, bend the elbow to bend the knee, roll through high leg over. A lot of kids have trouble with that because they don't feel comfortable letting that two on one go. If you don't feel comfortable letting the two on one go, don't let the two on one go. Just put your elbow in the middle. Here's Coach Sterling being politically incorrect again. Damn, knee up the butt, chop. I'm going to make him have three legs. How many does he have right now? Two legs. Three. Three legs. Then I put my head in there. Then I just pull. Pull high leg, bottom knee. Catch him on the bottom knee. If you do this, he gets out. I got to catch him here. Your heel and your butt have to be friends. Toe has to be up. Be able to elevate. So here's a hybrid version. Jam, chop, come in here. Put your elbow on the mat between his legs. Now the hard part is a lot of people want to stay up here with it. I usually go to the forearm. I usually go into the forearm because it's easier for me to grab there. I already took this post away. I'm going to drive and high leg and pull. But i got to move my feet to get in on that knee. And everything here is nice and tight. Glue my elbow and my knee. One, two, three, four, five. Is that good? He doesn't get to get up until I want him to. Show your hands. If you want to do this, you're not going anywhere. Make sense? If you do a real hazard tilt, Brian Hazard from Air Force, this is his tilt. He's going to chop. He's going to dive through. He's going to knee up the butt, chop. He's going to get the one-on-one. -on -one. He's not going to worry about two-on-one. -on -one. He's not going to worry about cheap tilt. He's going to literally dive through. The bend of his elbow He's going to go to the bend of the knee. Palm's going to be up. And re-grab. Do not put your thumb out because that's the first thing they're going to try to rip to break this. Tuck your thumb. Tuck your head. Bottom knee. Now this ends up slipping out sometimes, but it's okay because if it slips out, Did I get five yet? Well, I got ten now, huh? Then I can let him go. Make sense? Those are the first three we're going to do. Cheap tilt, hybrid tilt, hazard tilt. Any questions? Three, two, one.